Hello, my name is Ivory Jenkins and I'm here at Unplug Meditation and today I'm going to lead you through a meditation for the best case scenario. If you're anything like me, sometimes worry and doubt and fear can plague your mind and then you start this spiral down into the worst case scenario. And it's never really helpful, is it? Sometimes it feels good to get stuck there, but it's not quite helpful. So this will be an antidote to that. The best case scenario. Let's try it. Please come to a comfortable seat. Whether you're laying down or seated is fine, but just make sure it's comfortable. And then when you're ready, close the eyes. Feel your body sitting, the cushion, or the floor beneath you. Get curious about your breath as it's coming in and out. And then immediately bring your attention to your face and particularly your lips. And I want you to turn the corners of your lips up until, yes, you are smiling. And I know it's a fake smile, but we're going to fake it until we make it. The act of smiling releases a feel-good tonic throughout the mind-body. So let that feel-good tonic permeate. Let your smile grow bigger. Maybe it even turns into a, a giggle or a laugh. Open and close your jaw a little bit. Relax the muscles of your face. Where your mind goes, energy flows. So for today's practice, we're going to allow our mind to go to the best case scenario. The first place we'll go is the best case scenario for our finances. So I want you to think in your mind of the state of your finances. But then just for today, let's play. What would be the best case scenario for your finances? Your personal finances, your business finances, joint finances with a partner or a friend. Let yourself be outrageous with the thoughts. And be really specific about the thoughts. What do you desire? Allow yourself to stay in this space. Notice any resistance to these thoughts of positivity, of best case scenario. The resistance is natural. But just keep going back, best case scenario. And we'll shift our attention to now health. It can be your health or even the health of a loved one. Acknowledge the facts about your health as it stands now. And then let's shift to what would be the best case scenario 
for your health or that health of someone you love. And if you're having any trouble staying with the thoughts of best case, then come back to the mantra, I am available to good. I am available to good. I am available for the best case scenario. Take a deep breath in, clean the slate with an exhale. And then we'll shift to our final best case scenario, best case scenario for a relationship. So you'll choose perhaps a, a problematic relationship, a difficult relationship in your life and honor it as it stands right now. And then we'll shift. What would be the best case scenario for this relationship? What would it look like or feel like if it was not challenged or hard or difficult? If it was easy, if it was maybe even loving, Stay in this space for a moment. Be outrageous. And if you're feeling resistance, just go back to that mantra. I am available for good in this relationship. I am available for good in this relationship. I am available for good. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And take another deep breath in. And with this inhale, I want you to pause at the top, at the apex of your inhale, and let that be a metaphor for infinite possibilities, expansion, growth. And exhale, release it. This is a practice. It's like learning a new pose, a new skill, finding new grooves in our neural pathways to see situations, not just for as they are, but how we would like them to be in the future. And 
And this is a practice to get you skilled at positive thinking. When you're ready, you'll blink the eyes open. Come back into your body. See how you feel now as opposed to when you first started. And know that this practice is available to you anytime you need, anytime where anxiety feels like it's getting the best of you. Just come here and we'll find the best case scenario together. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. See you soon.